Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a video for those on 1909, the November 2019 update. Today, you are getting your last Patch Tuesday updates. That means you're going to be secure for, you know, a little while, but that also means that you need to move on to a later version of Windows 10 to stay safe. As weeks and months go by, if you stay there, you will have a unsecure system and nothing will protect you when you have an unsecure system. Contrary to a lot of people thinking, oh, good antivirus, you're going to stay safe. It doesn't work like that at all. And most of these people actually have infections in their machines and they don't even know it. So uh, here's the thing. If you're on 1909, first thing to do, to do actually, because all the blockers are removed, is of course, go into your all settings. Go into Update and Security and check for updates. You should normally see that they're offering you either version 2004, but most of you will see version 20H2, which is the October 2020 update. And this will be an optional uh, download and update uh, probably, or it, it might even trigger actually because of the fact that you're uh, you know at the end of support. Uh, whatever happens, apply that update. But if you don't see it, uh, or it's there, but when you try to install it, it doesn't work well, then the other options are in the download page for Windows 10 that I'll share here. You can actually, um, you know, click update now on the page here, see what happens. If it doesn't work, you can download the media creation tool. The media creation tool will allow you to also upgrade from the tool. If it doesn't work, you can download an image, create a DVD, a bootable DVD, or a uh, USB um, uh, thumb drive to actually make sure that you can, in some way, upgrade to the latest version of Windows 10. And with one of these ways, you should actually uh, it should actually work. If there are any problems or any errors, a clean install might be the time to do it. It could happen, uh, especially if you've been on the same Windows 10 install that upgraded over years and years. From time to time, it's not a bad idea to do a clean install. And the added bonus of this is that you'll have probably a system that will be much faster. So these are the ways that you can upgrade. Um, I'll, of course, share the link to this page where you can download the uh, image of Windows 10 if you need to. The other thing, remember that if upgrades are a problem, unplug everything that is plugged into your PC. Printers, whatever USB devices are there. Uh, sometimes it's a simple device that just prevents the Windows update from actually working well. So make sure that you actually have that. Make sure you have uninstalled everything that you don't need. Um, and in, you know, third-party antivirus are often known to block Windows updates from working well. So that's also something that you might think of. Your work, if if you have any other any third-party antivirus, uninstall it, update, and you know, if you wish to inst install it again, simply go and download it again from the manufacturer website when you have updated to the latest version. Uh, all of little these little tricks can actually make a difference between you are able to move ahead or not and uh, you know the devices on the USB ports remove them if and if you upgrade then you can plug them one by one and reinstall them after the upgrade from 1909 to the latest version this is a major update this is a big feature update that you will install uh, why because you have to go through that feature update of version 2004 have no choice it's the way that you'll upgrade then to 20h2 and then you'll be okay with uh, once again a small update if you wish eventually to go to 21h1 when it is released in the next few days so these are all little tips and tricks uh, but you have to move on if you want to stay safe on your computer the link to the download page is in the description below just click on that if you can't upgrade directly from windows update uh, and um, try the different options available. If all fails, a clean install usually will work very well. I have um, videos on the channel that shows you how to clean install. It's 
uh, in 2021, a very easy thing to do in general. Windows 10 is kind of almost, you know, updates and, and works um, automatically and, and installing itself pretty much today. Yeah. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.